Good morning, everyone. Um, today I'm going to take a break from the wrecker. And I'm going to build something that my son has kind of been wanting. So he's into guitars and stuff, but he's been leaning his guitars up against a wall or something like that. And they have a tendency to kind of want to fall. So, and offsets the tune or, you know, stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to build him a stand because he has two guitars. I'm going to build him a stand where he can have his guitars hang off of it. And then he can put it anywhere in his room that's convenient, out of the way. And then that way they won't be falling over and, you know, he can kind of display them a little bit. So without further ado, go ahead and we'll get it started. I happen to find a couple of pieces of wood that I think will work okay. And that way it's heavy enough that uh, it won't just fall over. So we ordered these online. You can get them from Amazon. Uh, they're simple, they're for guitar. They're adjustable. <clears throat> if you were to hang a guitar on a wall, you could mount them to a stud and they'd hold your guitar. Unfortunately, we don't want to put holes in our walls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these as hangers in my thing. It's a pretty simple project, but in the sense, I thought I'd video it for you guys. So this is some oak. It's from an old, like, single little computer desk. Um, so it's pretty strong stuff. Um, I'm just going to pull the old brackets off of it so I can use it. Um, like I said, it's a pretty simple, pretty simple stand. I don't have any table saws or anything, but however, see how straight of a line I can cut. It doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, if you have a table saw, I'm sure you can get it nice and straight. This is the top. But we're not done yet. The measure where I want the hangers to be. Up right there. It's just a uh, horizontal line so that I know I get them on their stake so that I can figure out where I'm going to put them. I think what I'm going to do is move that. I at least want to get my screw holes marked so that 
and then I will pull the other one off. Huh? I don't want to go all the way through. Yes, want to go. I don't really want to glue it. Not just yet. And the reason I didn't pull it off and bore a bigger hole is because this is kind of loose. So if it gets into the wood, it will act as a little more strength. some design. I mean, I, I granted it's not perfect. I could probably come along and trim this really good. Um, I wish I had a table saw. Um, that's the other reason why I'm not glu glu gluing it. If I eventually get a table saw, I can bring this out of my boy's room. I can pull these hangers off. I can unscrew these and then I can get a nice straight edge on there. So I, I know it's not straight. You know, please don't be too hard on me about it. Uh, this is just a simple project. Uh, he doesn't really care about looks as long as it serves its purpose. I mean, he was wanting to put them on, wall, on the wall, but uh, we didn't want to put holes in the walls. All right, so now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out how it is I want to mount this. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking something like this. So what I need to do, that's the bottom, that's the top. So what I'm thinking I need to do is I need to figure out where the board is. I'm gonna use this piece to try and find at the medium measurement. Let's see what we've got here. We got seven and a half. How's that look? We got seven and eight. So let's go down to right in the middle. Let's go down to seven and a quarter. But just a little bit over that. Okay, so let's go down. I mean, it said it doesn't have to be. Oh, I wasn't quite at a quarter there. All right, so there's seven and a quarter. Now that's showing almost seven. So let's go seven and five sixteenths. Seven and five sixteenths. That's the happy number there. Let's find our center. So we've got 14. Our center is going to be right there. Let's make a couple of marks here. So seven. Now, here we go. Seven and five sixteenths. And I will make a mark there. And then seven and five sixteenths. Gives us one and a quarter inside the inside, one and a quarter. So that looks really good there. We'll go ahead and make a line right there. Okay. 
So what you missed is you missed me drilling the holes, marking out where I was the center for where I'm putting the board, and but very typical. Make your measurements, drill some guide holes, and uh, now I'm gonna screw it onto the deal.
he does that above the stand up. Yes. He just like this. He's nothing else. Yep. That's a pretty good stand for just having a bunch of junk stuff laying around. But that's the point of DIY. I go out and buy all new material and stuff. Yeah, if you, if, if you don't have anything. She worked good. All right, so this is the finished product. I added some things that he had that I knew he liked. And now the guitars are hanging. It's good and sturdy. He can pull one off. It doesn't fall over. I put in a basket so he can have his cords or his amp right there. Or if he wanted to, he could hang his cords off of here. He might like that. So, sorry, it's kind of dark. I can't really get more light on it. But that's how it looks all finished up. So, I hope you liked the video. I just, I lost it somewhere, but it was a nice little project to do. And I hope you all liked it. Something pretty easy you could do in your own shop. Uh, for someone who has some guitars and wants to be able to have them on a display. So thank you very much for watching.